Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Webflow templates in 2024. So today we're diving into the world of Webflow templates, a fantastic resource for kickstarting your web uh, starts or your website projects with professional designs and pre-built components. Whether you're building a portfolio or online store or a business website, just stick around as I guide you through the steps to do it and let's unlock your potential of these templates and bring your website's visions to life. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the URL section, just type Webflow, as simple as that, .com, hit the enter button, make sure to log in into your account. Of course, if you have an account, you will find yourself on the dashboard and if you're already logged in, if it's your first time, you'll find yourself on a page like this instead. So if you have an account, click here to log in into your account. And if you don't, click on get started, it's free, to create a new account. Of course, uh, you'll be able to create for free unless you go and choose a plan. Uh, if you're interested to see the pricing, here is it. You can pause if you need the features if you want to. This is like a yearly, and this is monthly for e commerce. This is going to be the price monthly and yearly. And of course, if you don't know nothing about Webflow and their home screen, you can scroll down to read just some informations about the websites to familiarize yourself a bit about it or just to have a general idea about it and see uh, what's about before even creating your account. So once you're logged into your account or you just created your account, you'll find yourself on a dashboard like here. And of course, you'll find all your sites here. You can go and click in here on tutorials if you don't know how to do things. So you'll be able to see some tutorials on how to create some basic layouts, how uh, intro to the designer, space in the web, flexible layouts. You'll be able to see some things. On settings here, you'll be able to access uh, general team, plans, billing, apps, and integrations as you can see. So you'll be able to integrate a lot of stuff. Uh, connects a lot of uh, plugins as you can see I'm connecting here Figma to Webflow I've already made a video on how to do it and how to work with it you can pause video in this video and see it uh, first if you want to and of course you can click here and find apps and find all the apps as you can see that you want so you can click on load more and look for the app that you want so what we said in the beginning of this video is we would like to use the Webflow templates we have a lot of templates for the free users to use like surprisingly a lot of templates actually to find those templates first of all just click on add the new sites to see first of all those templates of course let me just go back here on this last panel if you click on templates on libraries if you have any purchased templates you'll definitely find your templates here don't worry and you can even click here on to browse with flow templates first of all you can even find some libraries if you have some libraries you'll find it here so click on browse the web flow templates to find all the templates that you want of course here as you can see a lot of them are paid not a lot of them, I guess every one of them. Yeah, it seems like every one of them. And if you want the free templates, just go back to old sites, click on add a new sites. And here's an example. You'll find those four are free, one blank and three with basic layouts and basic things. But if you scroll, scroll down a bit, you'll find, as you can see, free templates in here. Just click on view all and you'll find all the templates. All those templates, as you can see, are free. So you can simply look for the templates that you want and start using it as an example so i don't know what templates you would like so of course the template depending on whatever you want so we, they have dev link some templates blog templates small business templates learning templates retail templates fitness one restaurants uh, business fashion retail so as you can see you have like templates for startup for kind of everything so just look for the template that you want maybe I don't know, let's say I would like a template for portfolio. So let's look for portfolio or blog, portfolio or blog, whatever it is. Let me just go here. I guess I saw a portfolio that I liked, maybe this one. So I, I don't know, I'll well, just use this one, why not? And click on it. As you can see, you'll be able to use it for free. But before even using it, you can preview it in the browser or preview it in the designer. So if you click on preview it in the designer or in browser, you'll be able to preview it as you're entering the site as a customer or whatever it is. So click on it, you'll be able to preview everything. As you can see, uh, contacts, you'll be able to click on everything and you will have access to everything. As you can see, view projects, you'll be able to see everything that you want. If you like it, click on use it. If you don't, go back and browse through other things. As an example in here, I'll just go... 
I don't know. Let's just stay on that or let's just go and use this one. Why not? Why not? So I don't know. Uh, I can't like choose a specific one for you. Just go choose whatever you like. Let's say, okay, let's say we're going to start with this on the business. Why not? And of course, if you like it, just go and click on use for free. Here, as you can see, you will find yourself with your uh, like templates in here. Of course, if you go uh, like in here, so let me just go to view dashboard. If you go here to these templates and libraries, as you can see, you will not find your templates here. Why? Because it's free. Free templates does not show here. Just keep this in mind. So here, as you can see, these templates, what you can do with it, of course, you can go and give it a workspace or you can create a site with it. So click on create a site and give it a name. So I don't know, I'll just give it like a test name and click on create site. Here, once I do so, I will find myself, of course, on that template. And I, as you can see, I start using the template without any problems. I can now make any edits that I want on it. Of course, I'm not very good at like designing these templates and stuff. You can go through this, like example, create site, change colors. You can go through whatever they're telling you here. They are even giving, even giving you like a small video on how to do it, how to customize it, how to change colors, fonts and classes, how to modify the layout to your template how to connect your site to a dynamic data, how to get help with video tutorial and simply publish your sites. Simple as that. So click on got it. And yes, simply just as we said, just go through that. So now I got it. I don't need to open tutorial and make sure to finish those get started steps. It will help you through like this, especially if you don't know like oh, how to edit own Webflow because it's a bit not that hard, but it's actually a bit harder than other like uh, options like WordPress, like uh, Elementor, whatever it is, Wix. Uh, it's harder a bit. So it's a require more skill here in Webflow. But as you can see, you can edit everything, not like other options like uh, Word WordPress, whatever it is. You can edit any small detail with code, where design, with space in, with whatever you want. So just go, customize this however you want. Then click on preview and see if everything is working. You can preview it on desktop, tablets, landscape, and portrait and phone. If you like it, just click on publish and publish it to the domain that they give you or uh, add the custom domain if you already have one or buy a new one if you want to. And yeah, you'll be then good to go. So there you have it. You successfully learned how to use the Webflow templates and to, of course, jumpstart your website projects in 2024. So with a wide range of professionally designed templates at your fingertips, you can create a stunning website in no time. So if you have any question or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. So I'll see you in the next video. Happy designing and goodbye.